Okay, so I just wanted to do a kind of a little progress report with little Rogue here and just kind of show people what structure can do for you in the long run. So when we first got Rogue here, um, anytime that we were just kind of settling in and not doing anything specifically with her, she would pace back and forth. And so our routine has always been, we wake up in the morning, we go for a walk where we do a lot of good mental stimulation. I have her, you know, do some obstacles. I have her do some basic obedience. We work on leash walking, all that good stuff. Obviously ghost comes with us too. We usually come back home. I have them do a downstairs in their bed while I get their food ready. And then they eat and I usually settle in to start doing my emails. Now, if I didn't start introducing structure right off the bat, Rogue would just pace back and forth just looking for stuff to do. And so she's a dog that needs to learn proper relaxation. And so we started off tethering her kind of back off in that corner over there and I would make it comfy for her. She had a bone, she had a Kong, she had stuff to do. And while I was doing emails, every now and then I will go up and reward her for holding that nice, beautiful down state. Now, it didn't look very pretty at the beginning. At the beginning, she didn't even know how to down. So I would wait for the behavior, then reward it. And so we did that for, probably about two months and then we started letting her off of her tether with her leash kind of dragging on and so as soon as I finish our, our food you know they finished their breakfast I would come in here to do emails and I would send her to her place now she had more obedience so I told her hey go to your place with her little leash on just in case she tried to walk away I can grab that leash and bring her right back now here we are pretty much five months in to her being fostered and look at her, she's relaxing all on her own. She's learned the routine. She's learned that after we eat breakfast, after I got my time, this is time for me to relax. And so because at the beginning I made this so rewarding, this is a behavior that is now ingrained in her. And now, even if I try to go into the kitchen here to do something, she before would try to follow me all over the house and i know a lot of people with covid right now are struggling with their dogs following them around the house and having separation anxiety so i can be in here for a while talking to myself and i come back and there they both are they're both just hanging out they don't feel like they need to be with me at all times they don't feel like they have to be engaged at all times this is five months in with a professional trainer now consistency is everything and so i know that tethering is not the most exciting thing to do but it's literally the easiest thing that you can do for your dog and just staying consistent and making sure that them being on a tether is rewarding and even now you know by the time i'm done with emails or every now and then if i feel like it i'll come up and reward her for being nice and calm of course as long as she's not taking a nap but behaviors take time for your dog to know how to live with you it takes time and so please give them that guidance please set them more for success the reason why i give clients exercises like these that are simple it's not because i just want to inconvenience you it's i want to make training so easy and so simple that you can literally do it while you're doing emails so that it fits your lifestyle and you don't feel like you have to put in an extra two minutes to do something you know two 10 15 minutes to train your dog you can just apply your everyday life into your training and then that is going to come off a lot better than you know sectioning off times of your day to do this because i know sometimes life happens and you might not be able to get to those 10 15 minutes to work with them so if you make it part of your life you're literally doing all the time so please take our advice whenever we tell you to do stuff in the end it's only to benefit your dog and trust me it's to benefit you you know look at her look how calm she is she's learned that laying down her her nice little quiet bed is nice you know before she didn't have that impulse control she didn't think that relaxing was something that she needed to do so especially for puppies this is very important guys so you know now that you see kind of the outcome of five months of work i hope that this inspires more people to do it all right guys happy training